Hello, good morning, happy Saturday. I'm currently getting ready to go to the salon. I have four clients today. My first two are getting haircuts, third one is getting highlights and a haircut, and then the fourth one is getting a conditioning treatment and a haircut. So keep your fingers crossed for me that none of them have a lot of super thick hair. I had a client like that the other day that had super thick, heavy hair, and she was also super tall. So the whole time I'm like this, like up on my tippy toes. Needless to say, my shoulders were super sore afterwards. Anyway, I am going to finish getting ready. I'm just doing some quick light makeup. And I'm just gonna leave with my hair wet because it's raining today and it's supposed to rain all weekend so i feel like there's no point in trying to style my hair highlights are currently processing and I am sitting down in the break room color room I'm having another coffee because I just need to sit for a second she's on the phone with someone anyway but we're the only people in the salon right now one of the nail techs came in this morning and the massage therapist had a few clients in the morning but they're all done now and I told the receptionist she didn't have to wait around so she went home so yeah, it's literally just me and my client now. She should only need a few more minutes for her highlights to process, and then I'm gonna rinse her out, tone her, and then we're gonna do a little quick trim. And then my last client, I'm really hoping, doesn't have a lot of hair because my first two, I don't know how well it translated in video, but they both had a shit ton of hair. It was a lot and very heavy. And literally what I said this morning that I was hoping I wouldn't have to do is exactly what I ended up having to do but they were so sweet um I really really loved both of them they were great but my shoulders are feeling it and this client kind of has a lot of hair too her timer just went off I'm gonna go check her foils and hopefully fly through the rest of this day
last client also had a lot of hair. I just need to sit for a moment. It is three minutes to five. I actually ended up finishing right on schedule, but then I had to clean up and then I was filming some Instagram reels. Gotta take advantage of being the only person in the salon and having like that setting to work with. I decided that I'm gonna treat myself because the weather is so crappy and I really don't feel like cooking. So I'm gonna order delivery. is home to the Pacific War Memorial. What is Corregidor? Corregidor is the island, yes. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. I am about to get ready to go to the gym. And all I really have on the agenda for today after my workout is just finish like straightening up around my apartment. I don't really have to do much because I did like a full deep clean a few days ago. And then I have a sponsored video that I have to edit and submit. And then I would love to blow dry my hair tonight because it is just a crazy mess right now. And I've been wearing it curly a lot lately. I always like to change it up. It's nice to just wear it smooth because I feel like when it's curly, it gets really crazy and it gets tangled more easily. It's definitely easier and more manageable when I blow it out. For insects, tent area. That's it. What's anteater? Right. Mammals too? Borrowed from Greek, it means the masses or common people. Matea. What's white boy? Right. First up, orchestras. 1990s Emmy Awards. And famous name overlaps. What's is it? Sorry, what is the mic? I have just been on my laptop editing the entire morning. So I had to stop and take a little bit of a break because I didn't eat anything yet. The weather is still pretty cloudy and crappy looking, but I don't think it's supposed to rain anymore. I definitely want to do something because I feel like the last few days it's just been raining nonstop. So I've just been stuck inside working. I really just want to enjoy the day and, you know, do my hair, put a little makeup on, go out into the world. I will update you and let you know what I end up doing. This lighting is awful. I ended up going to Target because they were having a really good sale this weekend on clothes and shoes and a bunch of other stuff. And I had a coupon that was going to expire today. Okay, this is going to be in a random ass order, but I got a bag of lentils. So I'm going to make lentil soup for dinner, either tonight or tomorrow. I needed some more paper plates. I got the Febreze Small Spaces air freshener. I love these for in the car because I feel like just regular car air fresheners are not strong enough. I really like these though and they are so strong. So I got one to keep in my car and then this one I'm going to put in my closet. And it's the ocean scent. It smells really good. Then I got a bottle of Prosecco. I'm going to pop that open in a minute. Let me put it in the fridge actually. Got some tampons, more deodorant, the native lavender and rose scent is so good. I also love the, I think it's coconut and vanilla, but I don't know. I love rose scented anything, so got that. Speaking of which, rose scented hand soap. Then I got these popcorners, chips, these are so good. Mmm, spicy queso flavor. So good. Then I got a bunch of Celsius. I love these. They're energy drinks. I think it's like a more natural kind of energy and there's no sugar. But I don't like the taste of most energy drinks. These actually are really, really good. And they don't make me feel like jittery. I don't crash afterwards. So I don't drink them all the time, but I do like to keep some in my fridge just to have in case if I really need one, like before work or if I 
need like a pre-workout or something. The kiwi guava flavor is my favorite. And then I also got wild berry. And then the last bag is the most exciting. All of their clothes and shoes were 20% off. So I got this pair of overall shorts. They were on sale for like $20, 25, something like that. And then I saw this dress in the clearance section. It was on sale for $7.50. Isn't it so pretty? And it's like a really stretchy, soft, comfy material. And then I had been also wanting some more flat sandals that are easy to throw on, comfortable, no heel, but also cute. Cause I have like my pillow slides and those kinds of sandals. But if I'm wearing like a cute outfit and I want something like a little bit more dressy, I didn't really have an option. Since everything was on sale, I figured I may as well take advantage. So I saw these. Super cute. And then I also got this plain pair, which I had these exact ones in the nude color a few years ago, and then I spilled color on them at the salon, and I could not get the stain out, so I had to get rid of them. But yeah, nice and simple, really comfy, soft material. I'm gonna be more careful with those to not <laughs> ruin them. That's everything I got at Target. Let me try on these clothes. So cute. Usually I like to wear overalls with just the one strap, but here's how it looks with the two straps. And I like that the metal on it is gold because I always wear gold jewelry, so. Very cute. Here's the dress, so cute. And here's the sandals. These are so comfy, I love them. And there's the second pair. And these feel really comfortable as well. So exciting. What do you think? You like my new shoes? Are they cute? You like them? Of course, now the sun comes out just in time for it to set. <laughs> yeah, it's almost eight o'clock. I made lentil soup. That is almost done. Oh, I'm so excited, it smells so good. It's very easy. This is something that my mom and grandma have made like forever, my whole life. I literally just take dry lentils, celery, tomato, and minced garlic, add some water, let it simmer for like an hour or two, and then I threw in some mini shells pasta. And in the past, I've also added carrots and spinach to it, so you could always like, Add some extra vegetables, onion, whatever you want to do. So yummy. So I'm going to eat this and watch the new episode of Yellow Jackets. And that's going to be it for my night. Hello. Good morning. It's Thursday, June 1st. Happy first day of Pride Month. I did not vlog anything the past two days because there was just... Not really much going on. Tuesday, the first half of the day, I edited and just did computer work. And then the second half of the day, I worked front desk at the salon. And then yesterday, I had the day off and I fully enjoyed the time off. I just stayed home and did nothing. I worked out. That was literally the only like productive thing I did all day yesterday. But today I have a little bit more going on and I'm just like in a really good mood. So that's always good. But I am going back to the med spa, I guess is what it's called, where I go for like my Botox and whatnot. If you guys saw my last vlog, I'm working on dissolving the filler in my top lip and I wanna like redo it. She did say that because I had a lot and I had been doing it for a long time, there was a lot like built up, I might have to do a second round of dissolving. So she said I could come in for a touch up. And then while I'm out, I wanted to stop at Ulta. And then I have a client coming into the salon for highlights. I think she's just getting her highlights touched up so it should be fairly quick and easy. Just got a little bit more dissolved. She has to inject like an actual fluid so you don't notice a difference right away. It actually looks a little bit fuller when she first puts it in. Um, and then over the next 24 hours or so, it will 
dissolve it a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, that works. Just trying to find a good spot to put my phone. Now that I have this new car, I'm like, I don't know where I can rest my phone and like what's a good spot for vlogging. Let me show you what I got at Ulta. I wanted to get a new foundation because at the moment I only have one that is the right shade for me and it's almost empty. So I was kind of looking around and I remembered the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless used to be my jam years ago. This stuff, like the finish of it was amazing and I feel like the wear on it was pretty good from what I remember. So I got another one. We will see if I like this as much as I remember and if it's a good shade match. It's in the shade 245 Classic Beige. And then I got another concealer. I've been using the NARS Radiant Creamy. Yeah, Radiant NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I love that concealer, but the shade that I have it in right now is not like super brightening. It's not like that much lighter than my foundation. So I wanted to get something that was gonna be like extra bright. I remember seeing Carly Bible use this in a video. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Finished Soft Matte Concealer. And then I needed a new brow gel and I wanted to get a lighter shade because right now I have a clear brow gel and then I also have a super dark brown one. And I wanted to get a lighter brown. So this is in the shade Soft Brown. Then I got a new lip product. This is the NYX Shine Loud Magic Marker. Um, I swatched a few shades of it here, but it goes on matte and it stays on. It's supposed to be, I forget what the sign said, like 24 hour wear or something like that. And then it comes with a clear gloss that you put on top to make it shiny. And it's just basically a long wear like lip stain. And then lastly, I got some lash glue because I stopped getting my lash extensions and I have some strip lashes and like individuals and stuff, but I don't have any lash glue. So wanted to get that just in case I decide to put on some falsies one night. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try all of those products out later in this vlog. We'll do that either tomorrow or Saturday. But anyway, I am going to head to the salon, maybe stop and get Starbucks first on my way, and I will try to get some clips of my client. good to be home. I stopped at Trader Joe's on my way home, so let's do a quick haul. We got some pita bread, some sliced Italian bread, protein, peanut butter bars, chocolate croissants. I'm about to have one of these right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Grape tomatoes, strawberry basil vinaigrette, got some blueberries, tzatziki dip, chicken chow mein, vegetable yoza, chicken tiki masala. I haven't really bought like frozen stuff in a while and I don't know, it's nice to just keep stuff like that in the freezer if I don't really have the time or don't feel like cooking, so yeah. And then I got some breakfast chicken sausage, Italian chicken sausage, and chicken breasts. Oh, and then I got these hydrangeas. I'm gonna throw on the Vanderpump Rules reunion, part two. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this all week. I, I am so extra exhausted. My whole body is so sore from working out because I was just feeling good this week. So I was like really going hard in the gym and just like up to my intensity on all of my exercises and that's probably why I feel so tired because my body is trying to recover. But anyway, hi, good morning. It's Friday. I'm getting ready to go open 
the salon, I'm working front desk, then I am gonna probably just come straight home and rest, go to bed early. So that way, hopefully, I will feel better tomorrow. I'm gonna try the new brow gel in the lighter color. Here's the brow gel. It's not really that much different than what they normally look like. Here's my outfit for today. I'm wearing a bodysuit from Zara. These jeans are Abercrombie, the new Target sandals. And then this thing I have literally had since college, so it is at least 10 years old at this point. And the tag says it's from this website called Choi's. Choi's. Comment down below and let me know if you guys remember that website. I don't even know if it exists anymore. I haven't heard anything about it, but it was like one of those like fast fashion, you know, kind of websites, kind of like Shein. Sorry, I can't share a link to it, but maybe I can find something similar. I mean, it's basically just like a blazer without sleeves. So, blazer vest? I don't know. I swear every Saturday, I wake up and I think, oh, I don't have my first client till 10, so I don't have to rush and start getting ready right away. I can make some coffee and just sit and relax for a minute, and no, I don't know why I always do that. I always overestimate how much time I have, and then I sit there and I'm like, oh, wait, I need to leave and like... 20 minutes. I had one of my co-workers wash my hair for me at the salon yesterday, which was so nice, and then I just blew it out really quick when I got home, but it did air dry a good amount by then, so I have some like weird looking pieces, so I'm just gonna go over that with my flat iron to smooth it out. And this, I, every time I use it in a vlog, I always get asked. This is the Dyson Corral Cordless Flat Iron. And I do really like this. I wish that it held a charge longer. That's my only complaint about it. But otherwise, I like that it's cordless. It doesn't create as much heat damage. I've had it for a few years now and it's the only flat iron that I use on my hair anymore. I really want to try this new makeup. So I put on a little sunscreen and the Say Star Glow Glowy Super Gel. Adds like a nice glow. Kind of works like a little bit of a primer as well. And now I'm gonna apply the Fit Me Foundation. Oh, I really hope this is a good color match. I feel like you can't even really see it. Oh yeah, that looks really good, right? I feel like that's the perfect undertone. Now I'm gonna put on the IRL concealer. I really like the applicator on this. It's very large and it's like curved. Ooh, it blends out really nicely. Sorry, I know this is not good lighting or the best angle to really see everything, but you know, this is just real life. Just trying to get ready for work really quick. I don't really feel like that gave the best coverage. You can see that. So I'm putting a little bit of the NARS on top. Just right there, just a little dot. I'm gonna set the under eyes and my lids with the Kosas Dree, what is this? The Cloud Set powder. And I'm gonna put 
some Charlotte Tilbury and some Rare Beauty Highlight. Then I'm applying that Maybelline Brow Gel. I wore this all day yesterday. I really liked it. I feel like it held my brows in place all day and they looked good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. I've really been liking this because it doesn't smudge throughout the day because it's literally just like these little fibers. Like it looks like a regular mascara when you're putting it on, but then once it dries, the consistency changes. It's very weird. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't give you raccoon eyes. And if you get it on your skin, you can literally just like pick it off. Then it's really easy to remove because as soon as it gets wet, they literally just come right off. And you don't have to sit there like scrubbing or worrying about it like staining your eye area or anything. I'm gonna line my lips with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Oh, this is also the first time I'm gonna be wearing lipstick, I think, on my lips since getting them dissolved. This doesn't say the shade name on it, which is very frustrating because I cannot remember what the shade is called, but you have the one side that is like the matte liquid lipstick that stains. And those swatches I had on the back of my hand from in the store, oh my God, I was having to scrub so hard at them to get them off that night. Definitely stains well. And then the other side is a clear gloss because like this is super sticky. So the gloss, I guess, just like seals it. L'Oreal had a lip product like this a million years ago and it was like, I think, the first of its kind. And I remember I used to wear that all the time, like, back when I first started my channel, when beauty videos were like first popping off in like 2013. And this just reminds me so much of that. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing that Amazon dress with like the built-in shapewear. I love this thing. It's so comfy. It's like a dupe for the Skims dress. This jacket, shacket, whatever you want to call it, I've had for a while. I got it just at like a little boutique in Gettysburg. It doesn't have any tags or anything with a brand on it. It might have been locally made. And then I'm wearing the other new sandals from Target. Here is the makeup up close. I feel like that foundation is a good match. I mean, we'll see how it wears throughout the day, but just like initially putting it on, it's exactly as I remember. I love the finish. It's not like too dewy and shiny, but it still looks very natural. It's not like too heavy or cakey. My only complaint is with that concealer. Like my under eyes already, and this stuff has only been on for like 10 minutes, if even. And it's already creasing and not looking too great. So, and I feel like, I don't know, it, the coverage wasn't that good. I'm not really sure. We'll see how it looks when I get home. The lips look good though. got home it's mm, like 3 15 I finished my client I don't even know what time I want to say it was like three hours 
from start to finish. Yeah, checked her out at one. So it was three hours, which I feel like is pretty standard for a highlight and a haircut, especially for like a first time client. Cause you know, we have to do our consultation and all that, but her hair turned out beautiful. I really, really loved her haircut and everything. But then I ended up staying and just hanging out with my coworkers and we were just talking. So that's why it's so late now. But I wanted to show you the makeup up close after, what has it been, like six hours? So you can see the under eyes are looking kind of creasy. I don't know, I think everything else looks good though. The foundation looks pretty good. And it's so humid outside, so I feel like it's been the perfect day to test it out. But I have not touched up the lip product at all. It like kinda rubbed off like in the inside of my lips, but I think overall it looks pretty good. They feel a little bit dry, but I think if I just reapply that gloss, they would look fine. Good afternoon. It is Sunday. I just got an Amazon package that came in. I thought I'd show you what I got. So I ordered this two piece set comes with the little like linen flowy shorts and then a button down collared shirt. And then I got some balloons for my birthday. It's a number three and a number one. So I can take a cute birthday picture holding up, you know, 31. And then I got some nipple covers. And then this was just like a random thing that I saw on Instagram to clip on the visor in the car so that you can put your sunglasses and it's just magnetic so this like clips on the visor and then you stick your sunglasses in there and then it just magnetically holds them to store your sunglasses um now that i got my new car i'm trying to really be super organized in it. I am gonna wrap up this vlog here though because I'm sure it's long enough at this point and it has been a full week. We've come full circle. Tomorrow I'm gonna start a new video. I have all of my little beauty things I'm gonna be doing and prep for my birthday. Ah, I'm excited, it should be a really fun week. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.